What's up guys, it's Dave. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I really wasn't planning on making a video today. I just got off Rocket Lab Weekly over on Vince's channel. It's week 52 or one full year of having a weekly episode every single week without fail. Extremely exciting. And even more exciting though is Rocket Lab just released the video of Archimedes hot firing and put to bed a lot of those rumors and discussions swirling around. And I'm just so excited I had to quit make a video. Let's take a look at the Archimedes hot fire video and then we're going to talk just a little bit. Absolutely amazing stuff. I was so excited to see it. I didn't expect it today. Uh, there's a lot of discussion going on whether this is SN1 or SN2 on the stand firing. And to that, I simply say, who cares, guys? Um, whether SN1 did get replaced by SN2 and it had some minor issue, clearly there is no catastrophic failure here from Archie. And Archie is doing the talking here. Rocket Lab not even acknowledging this report just letting the execution doing the talking. I absolutely love it. Even if there was some minor issue with SN1 off getting refurbished and fixed up, completely fine with it. It's a rocket program. If anything at all, it was maybe a hiccup, certainly not a catastrophe as the incumbents would want you to think. And even though the stock has more than doubled recently and my own shares have more than doubled, even though uh, in terms of paper gains, I'm up over $66,000 on the stock, I think I'm actually more excited when I see things like this get released, Archimedes firing, the structures coming together, those amazing pictures we've seen of the fairings after seeing all the struggles other companies like Relativity have had with their fairings, the body coming together, everything with Neutron starting to come, in, come together. Of course, you can't forget the space systems. We just saw the second spacecraft for Varda ready to be delivered, ready to go manufacture HIV drugs in orbit, a brand new type of space business that we haven't really seen before. And the reason all this stuff really gets gets me excited as opposed to the gains in my stock, which you would think I'd be excited about, is because it's tangible proof that the company is executing, that the thesis is on track better than ever, and that the investment is a good one. The stock fluctuates, it goes up, it goes down. I'm planning to hold it very long term, and this just really proves that the company is firing on all cylinders. 
To be honest with you, I've been hoping the stock would drop so I could get even more shares at a cheaper price. That hasn't happened at least yet, but you know, I I'm not gonna complain here. And it's not just all about making money either. You think about the mission and investing in the future you wanna see, investing in companies you believe in, ha making your own little contribution to the future of the space industry, Rocket Lab working to build that sci-fi future I dreamed of when I was just a little kid looking up at the stars. SpaceX, of course, I have to give a lot of credit to. They're doing a great job. They can't do it alone. They can't do everything. They need someone to compete with and push them forward and cover off the other areas that they're not working on and Rocket Lab absolutely doing that. They've clearly got some incumbents scared. Otherwise, they wouldn't be trying to keep them out of the NSSL program any way they can, saying things that are completely speculative, like Archimedes had a catastrophic failure, Rocket, Rocket Lab doesn't have a chance of launching by the end of 2025, and clearly Rocket Lab has them rattled, has them worried, and this is the kind of thing that they have to resort to now. Rocket Lab also working to answer some of those essential questions like is there life out there beyond Earth, something humans have been wondering since we've existed, and Rocket Lab taking it upon themselves to plan a mission to Venus, investigating some very interesting measurements that have come from the atmosphere, suggesting there could possibly be microscopic bacteria floating around in a certain section of Venus's atmosphere. Really a company I'm just proud to be a part of. Peter Beck, what a story. Didn't start his company as a billionaire with tons of profits from another venture. This was his first kick at the can. Had to build Electron with almost nothing, $100 million in New Zealand of all places. A place that never launched rockets to orbit before and he made it happen. He brought that Kiwi troubleshooting and grittiness to the industry and wouldn't take no for an answer and wouldn't give up. And he's really done what some people thought should have been impossible. Building a worldwide end-to-end -end space company starting right in little New Zealand. Amazing stuff. And, you know, couldn't be prouder to have my money in a company like that with a founder like that, still running the show, still with the vision and executing. I'm super confident in this whole team, including the folks working out at Stennis, bringing us those hot fires. Really great work by everyone involved and a team I have complete confidence in investing my money in. That's all I really have to say today. Very proud shareholder here. Happy to do my little part however I can, holding that 0.00001% of the company in shares or whatever it is, taking those off the market, not selling them, and hoping to add to it over the years. Really can't wait for Neutron to launch, can't wait for space systems to scale even further for that constellation to get going, make a lot of money along the way, and help drive the future of the space industry in the process. So, I guess it's a little funny to say, but here's hoping we get a pullback where I can add even more shares, go even harder on the stock, and maybe on options as well. That's just me though, of course, everyone makes their own decision and I encourage you to do your own research and your own due diligence. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just a quick one today. Super pumped to see that video. Super pumped for Rocket Lab to put all those rumors and speculation to rest. And with the FUD coming, you know people are starting to get worried. Let's go Rocket Lab. See you in the next video. Bye for now.